What's up guys, it's Ninja Owner, Ninja, and basically, yes, this is a political video, but I want you guys to know that I have leveled up as a person, uh, and honestly, I, I want to thank AI, because AI is connected to humanity, and every single thing that is allowed for us to know AO base, AI basically knows, and it's really smart to the point where we'd be like, uh, what? And so I'm able to argue with these AI, and it gets to the point where the AI is like, I literally made the AI crash. It didn't have a response. I was like, but you said, and it was a really good, you know, point, and it didn't have enough, it didn't have a response. And it wasn't like, oh, your mom fat. It wasn't some stupid. It was some, some big deal about something. But anyways. Basically, the point is I've upgraded. I found a way to get all of that out of me. And put it aside. So that I could focus some more on the gaming. Basically. And I know you guys are missing my gaming portion. I apologize. The best mind in the world... The best gamer in the world. Like, I'm the shit when it comes to finding new strategies, new ideas, and whatnot. Um, I'm literally the best at it. Uh, I My hand doesn't work too well. I had a stroke. Um, the right side of my body doesn't work too well. I still would say that I'm better than a good half of the population. Maybe more. Probably, like, I could still hit top 90%, 95%, maybe. Um, but anyways, my opinion matters is my point as far as games go, and as far as things like that. But, aside from that, I will post occasionally, and every now and then, a political video as well. And it's because I use that same kind of insight that I have for gaming, for the world, I have the same po like political view that I have in gaming, basically. So I have this intelligence that kind of coexists in gaming and the world, and it's intelligence. That's why intelligence is worth more than education, and education is kind of useless to me because it doesn't matter how good a doctor you are. Like, you can't become a, you know, a boxer, for example. Like, I, I don't remember the saying, but I'm more useful than a master, basically. So, I may not be the best when it comes to being the best. I could point you that direction. That guy only does boxing. You know, you want to do boxing? I know this guy, Mike Tyson, and, he, like, his grandpa... You should talk to him or the, the person who trained him or I, I know basically the qualities that would, you know, that benefit you. So you might want to listen to that or whatever. But anyways, the point is they both, like they have a, a weight and a value. And so my point is that I use that for gaming and for videos for the benefit of the world. And I realize that again through AI... That's what I'm here for. And what I'm going through, like, it sucks and I have all these problems and medical problems. The brain tumor at 19 that forbid me from working as a child, you know. And then the fact that I was in Tracy and Stockton, which basically had shitty doctors and made it impossible, or impossible for me to get SSI, impossible for, get the medica for me to get the medication that I need in order to get my life back on track now I'm somewhere where I can actually get what I need and provide and so that that's kind of what I'm doing what I want to do basically I want to give you guys the right answers or at least show you to someone who can and be in the room while you guys talk so I can be like okay as true as that is it's also not true it's kind of related to what I stumped the AI on, basically. But as true as what you're saying is, there's also this side that you're not being a factor of. Anyways, I'm not going to get into it now. So, 
You can ask about it if you want. I'll tell you about it. I, I got no problem with it. It's just I'm not going to include it now. So anyways, the point is this. He was asked about a study that they did or a test or they looked into it basically. Uh, I think it was uh, what's the name Matt Gates. They looked into him to see if he's a valued member. And he says, Two important points here, uh, Jake. Number one, my understanding is that the report is not finished. It's in a rough draft form, uh, was not yet ready to be released. And since Matt uh, Gates left the Congress, I don't think it's appropriate to, to do so. There have been, I, I understand, I think two exceptions to the rule uh, over the whole history of Congress and the history of the Ethics Committee. But I don't, I wasn't the speaker at that time. I'm the speaker now. The speaker does not have the authority to. So, whatever and bullshit, he's trying to get you lost in the weeds, basically, because what he's trying to do. Make you steer away from the point. And what you need to do is shut up, whatever. La, 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 la. And this is what they do. They call it gish scalloping or whatever. Anyways, I left a comment on the video and that's why I wanted to make a video because I just realized that my comment that I had left was actually for not for I mean, a CNN and to this uh, guy talking to the dude but it was to Jack it was to Jack who basically used um what's it called um Gold was something about gold. I forgot the name of the the website. Basically, they made him popular, and now that he's popular, trying to do his own thing. I I hate seeing that. It's another thing too. I want to pop off on, like I want to do calling you out, basically. And I just I hate seeing people. They watch the videos and they see something. And the guy says it in the video, and they go make a video where they they say it, and then they're like, well, "Look at this, he says it too," but in reality, they only said it because he said it. And I call it stealing thunder. And the fact is, if you're making video response to something where they're saying the same thing, chances are you're only saying it because you've seen it. You know what I'm saying? So I consider that stealing thunder. When you actually make sense or when you're talking to somebody and like whatever it is that you're talking about comes from you and it wasn't brought up by something else that like you actually invented it again, you're intelligent and you're not pretending to be intelligent, which is what a lot of fucking people out there are doing, which is making me look bad is they're pretending to be what they are not basically and people fall for it so it makes people like me who are actually the real deal look bad kind of like females i hate men i hate men no you hate bad shitty men you love a good man the problem is you're only doing everything you can to attract the bad ones and you're not doing anything to attract the good ones that's why you hate all men, because you never met a good man, and a good man has no interest in chasing you. So you hate all men, okay? Okay. Anyways, he said what he said, and he says, it's not worth it, it's not worth it, because he's, uh, he's not in command anymore. Drop it, okay? So the whole point here is just that he was in control. He was like a lot of you people were like, we love this guy. He's legit. You should listen. And you you favored and you supported him. It's kind of like, like uh, when you're trying to apply for a job and someone says, oh, this is a really good worker. And then that good worker turns out to be shitty. Then... I would look bad for saying to that hire him, he's a good worker, when in reality, he's actually a shitty worker. It makes me look bad. But what he's trying to do, what he's trying to do, is get rid of the proof that would make him look like he 
supported a shitty worker. He wants to get rid of that evidence. I don't think it needs to be reported because he stood down. But you still supported him. He was still part of the system. He was a government official. He was a chief. He was a whatever the fuck you call it that he did. Right? There were people in charge. Um, there were people following him. He was leading the way. He was making money. He was, you know, that, basically. And my point is... You guys were like, we put favor in him. That's why if you watch this interview, it's actually not bad. And he's like, do you guys care about Christianity more? Are you guys honest? Do you care about religion and the wholesome attitudes and whatnot? And I'm like, that's a really good point. That's a really good question to bring up because they clearly don't. And they never did. And this is what the Christian people need to see. Because I don't hate Trump supporters. I hate the fact that they're so committed to Christianity that they're turning a, a blind eye to any faults because it supports their Christianity, basically. But because it's costing us so much. And it's like, you don't want to take responsibility, basically. That's what it is. You don't want to take responsibility. You need to be responsible. People are dying, people are hurting. You need to take responsibility. That's what he's trying to deny right now. And this reason would make sense. For example, having the test or what they do to see if I matter when I had nothing to do with it. Yes, in that instance, why would you spend dollars on me? I'm, I have nothing to do with it. But again, um, Matt Gates, he was actually a member you guys actually support him. He actually voted, made decisions, and we need to know what, why, where, when, how. We need to know as much as we can so people can make the most informed decision as possible. And that's how the world works. That's when you know everything possible. We've done as much research as you possibly can. That's why we have a government. Because we're like, like, personally, I'm not the best runner. I'm not the best at everything. Because I'm like, fuck it, this is Michael Jackson, I'm Michael Jordan, so why the hell should I play basketball when we already have a Michael Jordan, right? That, that was me growing up. Me growing up, I was like, fuck that, I'm going to do something else. So I played basketball when I was growing up. Played soccer, played football, played everything. I was like, well, if they have that, then there's no point. And it was only if there's like a Michael Jordan, like someone who's actually that fucking good. And there's a reason why they used to win all the time. There's a reason why people still know who he is today. You know? Yeah. Anyways, and there's a reason why they know Kobe and shit. It's because of memes or whatever. But you still know Michael Jordan. He's not a meme. But you still know about him. You know why? Because he is a fucking goat. Right? And so I was like, there's no point for me to do that. And so I pursued, I pursued, I pursued. I changed, changed, changed. And I found... I'm going I'm to tell you, and I shouldn't tell you, because chances are what it will do is show you that it's a thing and for the market. Um, it's called an epistemologist, basically. And what that is, is someone who studies studying. Someone who is informed of art. Um, the, like, you know how... They learned to know how, basically. That's pretty much what that is. So, anyways, yeah. Stop. I feel like this is a good video. So, um, yeah, thank you. Keep easy, have a good one, and be well, be happy, safe. Hit that sub button because I'm the most real motherfucker there is in the world. And haters, you're more than welcome to come and try. I've made AI D, um, AI bug out. I've and and people can love me. They can. I've had lovers in college, meaning I had people that were just random individuals, and they came up and they supported me, and they liked me, and they followed me around with what I want to do, and they, they, legitimately, I didn't try. It was just they they naturally followed me because I knew what the fuck I was talking about, and that's what I'm trying to provide. And again, I provide the same thing in gaming in fact that's where i got started was gaming i broke through i figured out puzzle 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 and i'm lucky 
because I grew up in a time when games were actually made with a, a passion and a heart and a love and they actually wanted you to learn. Like, unlike what I'm playing now and most games I see now, they're just mindless dribble, just bullshit, just kind of like things to do to to spend or to waste time or whatever. It's kind of like I'm doing in the background. It's just something to do. With. Like, just, just, it's just there to kill time. Because I'm done. I'm done going to school. I'm done going to college. All I have left to do is wait and stream and talk to people. That's it. But as a kid, you should be out there living. Find what your dream is. You know, find what you love to do. Don't be a slut. Be a saint. You know, save yourself. Preserve yourself. And hold on to it. Yeah, it sucks when... You know, bad shit happens, but the, the thing is, bad shit shouldn't. Don't, don't hold it. Don't act like it's going to be a for sure thing. You should just kind of like I live my life, um, basically like I'm waiting for the one, and I don't want some girl who never waited. And so when we go to have sex, she's bored out of her mind because I haven't been fucking for a hundred years. Or she's been getting fucked by guys that have been fucking for a hundred years. I'm not going to compare. I know that. But it's not because, you know, I'm bad at sex. It's because she's a whore. She's a slut. Why the fuck I want to mount with that shit, you know? So what I want is a girl who waited. A girl who's still a virgin. Someone who, you know, dated but she's only had sex like eight times. Because she's like, I found out he wasn't the one. You know, I thought it was the one who we waited and then we had sex and he changed. And then, then whatever, that's it, that's fine. I met a girl once upon a time. Her name was Lonnie, right? And she, with guys, with her, she made them wear a condom, right? And I know because she allowed me to enter her without one. It was the best feeling I've ever had in my fucking life. I wish I could go back, but girls don't have that anymore. Like, there's no point for a lot of these girls is dead. You know, there's no point. Like, it, it's literally, you might as well just jack off. Because that's basically what it's compared to. So, anyways, anyways. That's just me knowing a lot of shit. If you have any questions that can connect the dots, let me know. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. There's a reason why I was number one in a lot of video games. And there's a reason why I wasn't number one in real in life and it's because again brain tumor six like six months into adulthood and then i had a stroke the second well i lost everything the second my life started to come together the second i started burning the second i started to care of myself i had a stroke so i'm trying doing what i can and you know this is what i'm supposed to do so i'm gonna do it so anyways, thanks for watching. Take care, keep it easy. Have a good one. Be well, be happy, be safe, be strong. Again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll gladly answer and I will gladly connect the dots and make you see what you need to see. I will show you the reality. I made a girl who is a virgin. I never, she was a slut. Right? I'm not, I, won't, I won't say a slut. She's been around, right? And she was a lesbian. I made her turn into a little girl again. A little sweet girl. And not to try to earn my dick. Or try to make me like her. Or maybe want to be with her. Because I connected to her heart. You know. I made her feel it again. I made her feel something that she hasn't felt since she was a little kid. That meant something to me. But anyways. I will do that for you too. Just make it worth my while to Sam. So anyways, peace out.